I'm Naomi Lindenfeld, and the organization is African Dance Vermont. Uh, we started the organization about 10 years ago uh, with uh, organizing weekly classes in Putney and then Brattleboro. And uh, that uh, led into uh, having the festival. And Caro Diallo, who's our featured dance teacher, comes from Senegal, and he's so incredible to have here and he inspired us to start this festival uh, to open it up to a wider number of people people from other areas in this area and um, we have we're now in the ninth year of the festival the seventh year with Caro and we're very excited to have him back and the festival encompasses dance classes drum classes and a big performance on Saturday night and uh, we have a, uh, also a visiting guest teacher, Papin Jai, who is also from Senegal, who lives in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and teaches regularly there. He'll teach two classes, and he's also a drummer, and he'll drum for the other classes. And Namari Keita is an, a fabulous drummer from Guinea, who lives in New Hampshire, and he drums for our weekly classes all year long and teaches drumming before our dance classes every week. He will be accompanying every dance class and teaching drumming on Saturday and Sunday. So Caro will teach a total of six dance classes, Pop and Jai two, plus the drum classes. Uh, it all starts tomorrow, Friday, at two o'clock in the afternoon, and will go through the evening, all day Saturday, and then it continues on Sunday. Um, and Saturday evening is a very exciting lineup of different events. It starts with uh, a meal being served by Jenaba Makalu at six o'clock. Um, she's well known in the area from the farmer's market and she's from Mali. And uh, then there'll be a film being shown at seven o'clock called Sahel Calling. And um, it's about Mali and the unrest there and a group of musicians that have gotten involved to raise awareness about the situation there. And uh, there are some local connections to the filmmaker. Uh, some musicians, Derek Jordan and Julian Gersten in particular, uh, and they want to bring this film to a wider audience here and they have offered to play music. Uh, along with Tony Vaca from Massachusetts and John Hughes is going to be playing the Cora from he's from Brattleboro and they'll play about a half an hour set and then that will follow into uh, Caro Diallo, Papin Jai, Namari Keita and other festival dancers and drummers doing uh, exuberant joyous performance so um, it's going to be exciting. The, the meal is $12. The film is free, but we welcome donations. And the performance is $10. Um, the classes, uh, all the tickets can be purchased either on our website, africandancevt.com, or at the door. Uh, and people are welcome to come and watch. Uh, and you can give a donation or not. And if you want to get a taste of what's going on there and not necessarily want to dance, or maybe you'll get inspired to jump in and, and dance or drum. And um, as far as newcomers, we are very welcoming and open and non judgmental. And um, the teachers are used to teaching to people at all levels. And what I say to people that are new is um, you, you come to it with whatever experience or non-experience you have and you just do what you can do and like anything new that you learn, like learning an instrument or learning any new skill, it takes a lot of practice to get more comfortable with it and you just have to be patient with yourself and not judge yourself and just have fun with it and feel the rhythm and feel the movements and do, do whatever you can do and, and enjoy it. Um, and of course, the more you do it, the more it comes to you. And if you come to this festival and are turned on by what's happening and want to continue, we do have the weekly classes every Wednesday night. The festival and the classes all happen at the Brattleboro Stone Church, 
which is on Main Street, right next to the post office. We have the weekly classes every Wednesday evening at 7, and we have a rotation of teachers. Um, we've had three different teachers for quite a while now, uh, all coming up from Massachusetts. Two of them originally from Senegal. One of them is American, but studied in Guinea. And they um, have a rotation of weeks that they each teach, and we're very privileged to have them here.